So, very strong pick Ooh. is, uh-oh. Yeah, got into the back line there. Duck Dom having to blow his cleanse. A little bit of a trade as Ice actually ends up taking the most damage. Grabbing that one early can be helpful for follow-ups. But unfortunately for Liv Sandbox, they got the Lee Sin this time around. So this is very aggressive. Kellen got stunned in mid down. Down was somewhat involved, and this is why they have to back away, but... Riddle. Riddle's got an opportunity here. He's chasing him down, looks like, with the drink. Actually, he's flashing away. <laughs> or Hook's running away, rather. Dove not able to pick up the kill with his own flash. Punish the Camille. Not this time. And Krakow's going in here, but Showmaker, again, very tanky overall in terms of the runes he's taken. His ability to survive and sustain is going to be unmatched. He's totally fine, even with Kyle already up here on the north side of the map at five and a half minutes alongside of Kellen. Yeah, he just has to do something. He doesn't want to sit in that lane while his partner is pushed out. And this means Duck Dom is free farming. Kellen is, is helping set up Showmaker here. And okay, that's going to be level six hit by Closer as Showmaker. And it had Smite. Not sure why he didn't just go for it. As the flash comes in, no cleanse. Oh, he actually has it back up, but he has to flash away. Croco not going to land. At least he's he's going to need a little bit more backup than he's got now. He cannot solo this. Yeah, he immediately realizes, I think, he's actually going into this. Azalma Gear ready to fight. They do have the rotation and Duck Dom nearby, so I think they're having some confidence of that. And the fact that Ice is not here yet. So with Duck Dom available, I mean, he's only level 5, but... Still, Liv Sandbox are going to respect that play as no flash here for Dove. You know, it comes back, not able to get it, but croco has got a flash, and Kellen will bite the dust. First blood. Just handy. knowing that they're going to have the advantage in AD carry, essentially. As yeah. Kellen's, Kellen's here, he's emoting in their face, right? Like, I don't know, man. I think he got what he deserved after that one, sticking around a little bit. <laughs> I have to half uh, yeah. pull this cup right you gotta now. Gotta take your wins when you get them. Really slam. fantastic slam. He's gonna get both Canyon and Showmaker in the trade. Canyon goes down, and now Bertle in a little bit of trouble. He's waiting for that hook shot. He does get it up once again over to the Realm Orb. Two plates here, but we got second Drake. We've had great control over this game. This was so well handled by Dove. Body Slam is super easy to set up here with the Flash because they're stacked on top of each other. And the rotation over is very fast from everybody else. You know, Closer is already teleporting in. Bertol is actually able to avoid that Q, which could have actually spelled disaster for him. And then uh, the laning phase. Showed a lot of respect when that first dive came through. As Dove is always going to be the focal point, it seems like here. Every time a wave crashes, we're like, can Bertol kill him? No. He might no flash here. <laughs> he's he's thinking about it. You can see no minions yeah. with ultimatum. You know, go for it. Still the cask available. Still pretty good trading here because there's no teleport for Dove. Meanwhile, down here on the bottom side, Croco hoping Duck Dom goes for the aggressive move, and he does. And he did flashing away. In goes Croco. Easy kick into the back, and Canyon just says nope, no thank you. I'd rather not. Even Kellen has to use his flash in the back of that play as. Closer. And the first chains here, the exhaust. Close enough in range to actually taxi him into this. As he looks for the root, it's like, okay, have pick potential. And the canyon's waiting, hiding himself under turret. Gets the root here, attempted onto rise, or onto ice, excuse me. And then Croco takes Kellen's opportunity to get behind, go for the kick. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, pip up, pip up, pip up, pip up, pip up. <laughs> he's like, get, he's like, get a fellas, get a fellas, get a fellas, get a fellas. Okay, 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 no pain, okay, good, good, good. No flash, no flash, no flash. Good. Hands live sandbox, unless Dalmonkia make a big stand for it over the next Drake. 
This does force a teleport out of Birdall. Closer actually looking yeah, for this. Closer went back in, and now he doesn't have distortion for quite a while. That's a lot of damage coming in. Not sure about that teleport. Yeah, I do respect it quite a bit. Damon Kia closing in here. Look at the flank from Birdall. Watch where he goes. Ice is the biggest target. Realm Warp's in. Now they're thinking about it. Absolutely, they're going to go in for this one. They root him down, but the kick on to Birdall. Do they have the damage for Ice? Yes, they do. And the comp works out. They isolate the Zeri and take him down immediately. But can they clean up the rest of the fight? Closer's still alive here, and they will finally take him down. Even Duck Dom survives. They're going to put Dom their foot down right here. And this is what we were talking about, or what I was really like harping on about the Camille pick is Camille can get on top of this Zeri. Realm Warp here is good, the root comes through, and there's enough damage with the follow-up here, the Hextech Ultimatum comes through, and she's just a sitting duck. She's chain CC'd, unable to do real damage, and unfortunately for Liv Sandbox here, Closer didn't do enough poke before the fight started to hope that maybe he could carry that one without her, because those are your really only two sources of damage. Oh, the man. kick was good, but this is a Baron follow-up. Yeah, they even got the Baron. Teleports will come in, the Flash, and they might just leave Showmaker to die as he does not have his Flash here, but Teleports now on the top side, dodges the chains, but there is the cask, and Bertle says, get away from my friend! I will take you down! Don't touch him! As you can see, they're desperately trying to fight, but they're just so tanky here on the side of Dalmakia. Dead man's that plate done for Canyon. And this is a really, really late fight here for Liv Sandbox, but you're desperate. And you think, okay, Duck Tom is low. Maybe we've got an opportunity here. Look at how quickly Closer tries to close this gap. But Bertel comes through. Hextech ultimatum or no, massive sweep here. Slows everybody, there's no chase. And Showmaker just walks out. And then now you're, you're trapped. You can't get out of here, unfortunately, against Dom Juan Kia's comp. So two kills plus a bear. So I like this setup where you do it slowly and then have the little Blanc on a flank angle where no one can see where she is. Okay, they get the vision now. Kellen able to proc that as the kick goes in and hits four of them. Croco lines it up perfectly. Can they win the fight is the question though. Closer is so low and down will go Croco as well. At this point, Dom and Kia just a little bit too strong. Too many threats on their side and they weren't even able to kill Duck Dom as a triple kill now goes over to the Camille, and that will be the second ace of the game. They tried to use a really fantastic kick to set up for a front-to-back team fight basically around this Zeri. That CC alone isn't enough. You have to delete the AD carry at this stage because his damage is too high. Four items here. Showmaker unkillable on this tanky rise, and they can lock down Ice. Damwon Kia, double win here, back-to-back. -back. Second game a little bit longer. <laughs> As uh, some shenanigans. Oh, here. Bertle saved his life. That was cute. Ice okay. having a bad game was just Don Juan Kia no really no shutting no down. No that was a really no sick no kick. No Even no knocked up the two of them. But like, look at the look at the back line of the sandbox. Closer nearly dies. Ice is totally zoned. Yeah, he auto showmaker four, five, six times. Yeah, That's showmaker it. with frozen heart. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. That's all he's able to do, sadly, uh, in this team fight. It was like who's flanking who in that scenario. Like Croco looked really cool. It might be, at least for me, like of the now three seasons I've done, like this is the greatest start I've had this season. We haven't had that many pauses at all. Oh man, the nostril is that, flare! Is the that nostril Armut? flare! <laughs> is that Armut? <laughs> he tried. He's not quite as good, but I, I like how he's chewing gum. He's I doing think a that adds. Deft impression. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, pack of chew going on. <laughs> Gives us a little wave. He's a lot more friendly than Armour. I'll say that. Well, I mean, at least in his stare. Yeah, I was I'm sure say, he's, I'm I'm sure sure he's a very say, friendly guy. I've never met say, him. Like, don't you diss Armour like that? He seems pretty. No, chill. I'm sure like, he's a great person. <laughs> saying in terms of his staring uh, style, let's say. He's also been like pretty respectful.